he's coming. At Debenhams flagship store in London this morning, they were preparing for the end of lockdown. New recruits were being ushered in for the big reopening as word was spreading that the company is set to close down. I've been on fellow for like nine months and today's my first day after nine months. Uh, I really have to go because they're calling me. Debenhams has been in administration since April and up for sale since July, but there are no takers and the company will now enter liquidation. In a statement, FRP advisory, the administrator said the decision to move forward with a closure programme has been carefully assessed and while we remain hopeful that alternative proposals for the business may yet be received, we deeply regret that circumstances force us to commence this course of action. JD Sports has been in talks to buy Debenhams for the last few weeks, but the company has no experience of running. JD Sports has been in talks to buy Debenhams for the last few weeks, but the company has no experience of running a department store chain, and some of its shareholders hated the idea. This morning, JD Sports withdrew, and Debenhams ran out of options. <laughs> Once upon a time, Debenhams department stores were a license to print money. These were the January sales in 1981. In more recent years, though, the company's failed to move with the times. Money has moved online. This is Debenhams in Canterbury, or at least it was. It's one of 40 Debenhams that have closed in the last 18 months. Leila Hassan was made redundant from the store in Manchester in August. She's still unemployed. We were told to go to the government for redundancy pay and we were just given three days notice. And I think that big companies think they can get away with treating people like this um, because, you know, the government doesn't really care. Um, and it's all about maximising profit. At least 8,000 people have been made redundant by Debenhams so far this year. There will be another 12,000 redundancies when the process of liquidation ends. Yesterday, Arcadia filed for administration, putting 13,000 jobs at risk. The Centre for Retail Research calculates that 140,000 jobs have gone in retail to date in 2020. It predicts that will rise to 235,000 by the end of this month. Sir Ian Cheshire was chairman of Debenhams from April 2016 until January last year. I asked him when he realised the business was in trouble. Uh, well, the day I walked in, um, I, mean, I thought it was going to be a, a turnaround and I knew it was, you know, it had big debts and, and, and long leases. I think the thing that became clear quite quickly is that there was a great business, 70 stores and the website would have been a very viable business. But what became clearer after about 12 months was that we couldn't get the landlords to basically take back the 120 stores you don't need. Throw it up, give out a cheer, because it's our favourite time of year. From tomorrow at Debenhams, it's a case of everything must go. But the harsh reality is that when everything does, there won't be much of a business left. Joel Hills, ITV News.